I've been around and doing it But now it's my time to shine and start proving it I'm losing it, I'm moving it The city is where I'm made Bostonian flow, I kick it a back day Yeah, I got game, got in a fan way We the city of the champs, every sport we play It's been wetter than the harbor, yeah I'm flowing like the Charles I be speeding on this beat, call it turnpike miles Yeah, it's Google signing on Welcome back, everyone, to the newest edition of Once a Week. I'm Billy Jan Lutis, and I'm fired up for today's message. Guys, if you haven't had a chance to check out last week's message on Kobe Bryant and his legacy, the first message in year four of the Once a Week series, make sure you do that. Because it's going to get you ready for things that are on the way, things to come, and things that are going to be incredible. But guys, make sure you like this message, click the thumbs up right below the video so we can spread this message to others, and, guys, hit that subscribe button below. We're coming at you every single Sunday with a new message to get you moving throughout your entire week. But, all that being said, let's get right into this week's message. Because yesterday, I was at my desk and I was planning out a new seminar that I want to bring to people. One that will help people take action and get results quicker than we're all used to. And planning it all out, I began to go over limitations people deal with that would need to change to make sure they can achieve the success that they're looking to have. And one major limitation that came up was one we all struggle with, which is indecision. And being able to work with so many clients, young and old, with life coaching and mentoring, what stops people from making progress or just letting their life change into something incredible? is our inability to decide what we want and just go after it. People will sit in indecision until the moment of decision passes by them so they don't have to do anything. I see it more and more and it pains me to see people sit on the sidelines as life just passes them by. Because I sat on the sidelines taking whatever life threw at me for far too long and just thought, well, that's the hand I've been dealt right? And maybe you've heard that phrase or you know someone that uses that phrase on the regular. That's just the hand I've been dealt. Oh, well. I've heard that phrase too many times recently and it gets to me now because truthfully, that's just dead end thinking at its finest. It's indecision at its finest. To use that exact metaphor in life, you hold the cards Yes, but you're also the dealer and the discarder, all right? Because you choose, you decide what cards you want in your hand, meaning your life, and you choose which cards you want to discard. Then you just pick up a new one. If it doesn't fit with what you want in life, here's the thing, pick again. What people tend to overlook or completely just toss aside is the personal power we have in making a decision. Guys, this is your life. Your life. You can choose what to have in it and what to take out of it. The dealer and the discarder. If the hand that you've been dealt doesn't work for you, decide, meaning pick a new card, again. Indecision is growing so much in the world and it has stunted our ability to see that we can change our lives in an instant if we wanted to. We can change how we feel in an instant if we can take control of our body, which we all have an ability to do. It's all connected. But if we sit in the idea of indecision, well, we just sit there. But we control that limitation because we can change it at any moment. If we choose to move, life will continue to move even if we sit still. Why not get on board and just see where it can take us? And I know, people watching this right now could be getting all the possible thoughts of what could happen if you made the wrong decision. That's what puts us in indecision in the first place. That fear. We become so afraid of what happens if I don't make the right decision. That things could just get worse. That's the common fear that every single person in the world has. Everyone has it. 
but it's the ones who choose regardless of the fear that get to where they want to get to. Fear will always come to you in any situation that you're in. But standing up to it and making the decision to do what you want to do is what causes that fear to get smaller and it gets smaller. To the point where your confidence grows stronger and it grows stronger. And the minor fears of making a decision can't affect you anymore. Because in no time, you'll be in a whole new area of your life because of the decisions that you made. Life may deal you the hand that you have, but if you don't like it, pick up something new. Take away something that you don't like. You decide what comes in and out of your life. Make sure it's something that you want to be in there. Indecision is just growing way too much in this world. And at one time or another, we are all faced with what to do. Just choose. It's the only way life can keep growing for you. And it's the only power that we have, the ability to choose. But guys, that's the piece of the new seminar that I wanted to give to you today. I'm looking forward to when it will launch. So keep your eyes open for that. But guys, again, like this message, hit that thumbs up right below the video and subscribe below so you don't miss any new videos. And on top of all that, make a decision. <laughs> Until next week, guys. I've been around and doing it But now it's my time to shine and start proving it I'm losing it, I'm moving it The city is where I'm made Bostonian flow, I kick it about